Hey guys, this is Forsaken Reality here with the 12th episode of the Remnant tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be fixing up a few replication issues. If you notice after your last video that the weapon effects don't play on the, all the clients, for example, because we just quickly threw the animation in there. So we're going to replicate that and we're actually going to move the fire vent to our weapon so it looks a bit cleaner. And we'll also be fixing, there's an issue where there's multiple overlapping weapons spawning and for every client it spawns more weapons, so there's th two rifles actually spawn, not one. But you just can't see because they're overlapping. This causes issues with our animation, so you can't actually see it playing on one of the rifles. So without further ado, we will get into this. Basically, at the end of this video, we'll be able to see everything on both server and client. And all the bullets will fire from server and client. So, I'll just switch over to that project. Um, the first thing we're going to want to do... I'm actually just going to get this project off my screen. So now, the first thing we're going to do is open up our character blueprint. And we're also going to open up our item weapon blueprint. We're going to set this to replicates on the weapon itself we're also going to replicate movement and we're going to head into our event graph so now that we're in there we're going to actually head over to our character for a moment we're going to grab this, control X, compile, control V, custom event, fire, I'll just name it fire for now, weapon mesh, Actually, plug this in and replace that. And we have our fire vent in here. It's just basically set, set up, but there'll be more, there'll be a lot more to our fire vent with a recoil and different things. And we won't on it. The less we have in our player, the more confusing it'll be because it's specifically to do with our weapon. So, in our player now, we still want this server fire event. And we're going to right click here and search for fire. File save. Now our input graph. Uh, Now we have our server fire event in here. Now we're gonna go oh. custom event weapon or multi as Fire effects. And we're going to set this to multi multicast and reliable. And from here we're going to get our weapon mesh. The animation. The animation has our sound and our
and our muzzle flash stuff in it. So it's gonna look for fire wep rifle W for this weapon specifically. Now we have that multicasting. We're gonna create another custom event just so we can another call that multicast event. This is gonna be our fire effects. We're gonna call the multicast fire effects. Actually, it's going to change this to shoot. It's fire effects just doesn't seem like the right word to use. And there we go. Call our new event in our character that we just okay. If you did change the name of it, that should be that. Now we want to go to a replication graph, drag it out, fire, shoot effects. And we'll spawn our shooting effects right here. So now we have our shooting and our shooting effects. We'll put other things in here, like recoil maybe and other things, just ran being used in that. And it doesn't seem to be spawning correct location here. Found my issue of why that's shooting off and from in there. Want to go into our animation for our fire weapon W. We'll click on this. We can pause this so we don't have to listen to it shooting off. And then it says muzzle flash. And we don't want our muzzle. And also if you click delete on these sockets, like hover over the mesh socket, click delete. It'll just create a skeleton socket. You don't really need the mesh sockets. You could just, if you want to create them back into a mesh socket. Doesn't really matter either way. Now we should be able to shoot and build server and client. Everything is replicated between everybody. Okay, so that's going to be everything for this episode. It was just a, some fixes of the replication. I believe that's everything. Let's go quickly look through our character. Yep, yep, inputs, yep. And, yep. Yep, so that's everything. Uh, if you found this video helpful and want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new uploads. If you have any quest any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below or join our Discord community using the link in the description. And I will see you all in the next episode.